Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Celtic Career Mode. This is episode 15 and the final episode of the first season of the Celtic Career Mode. Well, we're going to wrap up the season with our final game of the season, which isn't a league game, it's a cup game. And as we went over in the last episode, it's against Aberdeen in the Scottish Cup final. In real life, Celtic obviously playing Aberdeen in the League Cup final on November 27th after we beat Rangers at the weekend. Uh, no need to brag, but um, yeah, we've got Aberdeen to play in the final of the Scottish Cup today. And we're also just going to go over a couple of things. We're going to go over how we've done this season in the league and look at the team and potentially what we could do next season because there's a couple of players we're going to lose. So we're going to have a quick look at uh, the season in general, how we've done uh, in the league and other competitions. Quickly, I want to remind you guys, remember the vote is going on to see if I stay in Scotland or move to the Premier League for the next season of the Celtic career mode. Now, people have voiced their opinions in the comments. People want me to move down to England. They think it'd be a cool idea. But some people want me to just stay in this league, keep it realistic and, um, you know, go for the 10 in a row or whatever. But... It's all up to you guys. It's very close right now in the in the polls. I think it's like thirty two to thirty. Right now, staying in Scotland is winning, but that can all change if you guys go and vote. I'm not too bothered. I'll do whatever you guys like. So the link will be in the description for that for you guys to go and vote. Now, uh, if we go to the league table, now I'm going to try and keep this episode as um, uh, you know, I don't know the word. I was going to, I was planning on doing it like an uncut, just one big recording pish, but I'm not going to do so. I'm just going to. Try and get as much done and then play that game and wrap up this season of the Celtic career. So first, let's go through the league table. This was the league table, how it finished. We finished here in the top six. We won the league, right? I don't even know why I've said finishing the top six. We won the league and we managed to reach 101 points. Fantastic league. That one defeat, really annoying me, that defeat was to Aberdeen at home. If you guys remember that episode, yeah, we were beaten 2-0. A poor performance we, we lost and we got five draws so 32 out of 38 wins fantastic performance this season and we scored a massive 79 goals so great goals scored by the likes of Rashford and Hianacho and everyone done their bit goals from everyone really great season can ask for it to be any better if you just want to look at the other part of the table uh, Hamilton were the team who should be relegated but because uh, the championship's not in FIFA they will stay in the division next season but there we go Rangers finished second uh, eight points ahead of Aberdeen and somehow Kilmarnock managed to finish in the top half. Now, our cup run, uh, we managed to beat Motherwell 6-0. Then we beat Hamilton in the semis. And now we're off to Hamden to play Aberdeen. It's going to be a tough final. Obviously, the only team who beat us in uh, domestic competition this season. We only lost a couple of times. We lost to PSG twice. We lost to Tottenham once. And we lost to Aberdeen. They're the only teams that beat us this season. Three teams uh, beat us this season. Uh, and then the last chat chapter, well, if you count Copenhagen, the friendlies, they beat us as well. And here was the Champions League, obviously. Uh, the last 16 was not a good one to remember. We were defeated 8-1 on aggregate from PSG. Uh, Thumpins, either way, will beat 3-1 in Paris, actually. Not a bad result, but Parkhead, somehow we lost 5-0. But the group stage was really something to remember. We had a great group stage, in my opinion. It couldn't go. It couldn't have gone much better. There we go, one defeat, one draw, four wins, and obviously a couple of memorable wins and a couple of things we need to discuss after uh, the game, after the, the Aberdeen Cup final. I'm going to give out my player of the season opinion and my game of the season and such. And they're up, up there. I was going to let you guys vote for that, but I think it would just take a bit of time. It's a waste of time. So I'm just going to give my opinion and who I think deserves it at the end. But there's the players who are in the running for, I believe, player of the season. First off, Simone Scuffet makes some fantastic saves. He was a great player this season. Uh, obviously, I don't show a lot of the saves that he makes, but honestly, he makes some fantastic saves that I don't show you guys. He is terrific. Uh, also, Kieran Tierney, just for the fact, look at the growth. He went up six overalls this season. I had a terrific season at left back, done really well. Next player, Leon Goretzka. Look at that. From the centre mid position, 46 appearances, 18 goals and 9 assists. Terrific player. A 7.7 .7 average this season. Uh, sorry for the squeaky chair in the background there. Uh, but he has had a terrific season. Obviously, the record signing for us now. He cost us a pretty penny, £13 million. But a terrific player worth every penny, in my opinion. Couldn't ask him to be any better. Uh, then Scott Sinclair. He didn't grow at all. But what a season he had. In those 50 appearances, 17 goals. And he got the most assists this season, I believe, unless Goretzka beat him. No, he didn't. 15 assists. Terrific season for Scott Sinclair. Honestly, one of the best players I've used in a career mode so far this year. And he's only 75 rated. And then Marcus Rashford, our top goal scorer, also up there on loan. Obviously, I'll be losing him, which is a shame. Uh, but 24 goals, 11 assists and 41 appearances. Terrific player. And those are all my players who I believe... Do you know, actually, I'm going to leave it up to you guys. 
you guys get to vote for the player of the season and we're going to announce it in the next episode or whatever I do. I might do a special. I might just announce it in the first episode of season two. But you guys vote. Those are the players you get to pick from. I'll put it in the, the straw poll. I'll make a straw poll for that. And at the end of the episode, I'll come up with some other categories that you guys can vote for. But, so we may as well quickly look over what the objectives were for this season. That's all I'll take a moment. Uh, we met most of them for this. We met one It was the signing one youth player and played them five times. We didn't get them to grow by five overall points. Or the one training that says it grew by six uh, for Ewan Nicholson. Uh, we signed a crucial first team player. It was a forward. We actually signed two, he and Acho and Rashford. Uh, and we gained 8.5 million for shirt sales. Uh, there was no targets for financial... Domestic success, still want to meet, we're in the final, surely we'll win the, win, win the Scottish Cup, I hope we do anyway, so that should be met, and we re uh, reached the group stage of the Champions League, although we got to the last uh, 16, so we've done a bit better there, so there's only one we've not met so far, there's one more to get, um, and that's the one about youth development, which is low priority anyway, so it looks as though we're doing okay, we've done well, uh, and we've only got one more thing to do this season, that is play Aberdeen, that's the only thing we've got to do. We should win that, I'm hoping we do, although they were the team that bit us in the link this season, so we never know. But let's get right into that game. Remember guys, straw poll for player of the season, uh, I'm going to do it, and the straw poll to see if we move to England will be in the description. So there's the team we're going to play today guys, obviously the last time we'll see Marcus Rashford on this team only got more than one. Who knows, we might be able to sign him, but I sincerely doubt it. So Rashford probably won't be back, and potential the last time we'll see if Fossil Mensa. If we bring him on, that is, but I'm going to try and sign Fossil Mensa next season. I really want to bring him back. But this is a team we're going to play as our strongest side, apart from the fact we are missing uh, Sviatchenko due to the fact he's on a red card. So he's missing out in the final, sadly. But it's a good team. I think we'll win, and it's time to win the double. Do you see the fire in the park? Jesus Christ, I've never seen this at Hamden. Well, this this, this look, doesn't look anything like Hamden. It's as bad as East Point. I mean, I look at Celtic Park. But we're here, the cup final. We worked hard to get here. Um, so hopefully we get the right result. I never, that's quite cool. There's fire breathing around the stadium. But it'll be a tough game. They beat us once. Can they do it again? I don't think so. I think we'll win. So they're quite close to the box. Roberts. That's a decent ball. It's 1-0. What a ball in from Patrick Roberts. And he and Acho puts us 1-0 up in the Scottish Cup final. A great head off from the lads. It's in the back of the net. Takes a cup off the top bar and goes in. But it's still there. And we're up 1-0. A great way to start off the Cup final with a goal in the seventh minute. We're up. Surely we're going to win it. I don't see us losing any sort of lead. I feel confident. I think we're going to keep going. Shea Logan. A decent ball in. Gamboa. Can't clear it. Aberdeen have a chance to put it in the back of the net. Scoofy was so far away from the middle of his goals. And I said, after we scored, I think we'll keep the lead. But, well, we've not. And Ryan Jack has went and scored for Aberdeen. And look at this. Jeez, oh, that was poor, poor defender from us. And that. I like the chance. And Scoofy, not anywhere near the middle of his net. And it's allowed it to go in. It's 1-0 in the 40th minute. And it's half time. 1-0. A poor first half performance I would say. We've had a lot of the ball. We've just done nothing with it. And that's what we need to change the second half. Oh that's nice. From Colo Toure of all people. Toure. Oh running riot. Oh so close for big Colo Toure. And we're getting a corner from it. Colo doing well. Just couldn't get the shot away. Roberts swings it in. Decent ball. Toure. Oh, he's deserving a goal after those two chances. Very close from two to eight. Done well to run in there and get ahead. Look at that. Look at the connection. Just over the bar. 1-0. Collect you here, Nacho. Back to Kieran Tierney. Oh, close from Tierney. Good clearance. We could score from the corner. In the 90th minute, Roberts swings it in. Goes to no one. Back out to Roberts. Roberts in the box. Ah, nothing's came from it. That's another corner though, another corner, that's what's came from it. Aberdeen defending for the life, a good ball, Rashford, oh, right to the keeper. And it's extra time, we're going to, we're going to extra time. Can we win it in extra time? Aberdeen are posing some threat here. Decent ball, it's in the back of the net. Oh my god, I thought Tierney was getting to that every day of the week and Aberdeen might have just scored the winning goal in the cup final. It's the 102nd minute and Niall McGinn. Has just went and scored. Oh my god, I thought Tierney was getting to it. No bother, look at this. I genuinely thought Tierney was getting to that. And McGinn has launched his legs right in there and scored the goal. Oh, we've got a mountain to climb. 
fucking. I fucking. Yeah, why? Why blow the whistle when I'm through like that? Oh, God, I've got a lot to do. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's always hope. There's always hope. It's bloody Jeremiah St. Just, I think. He's had to pass it back. It's a good chance! Oh, it's an inch wide from Mr. Dembele, which maybe I went all the way with St. Just, but I never thought that he was going to get. I never thought it was going to be a slight tackle attempt. Oh, jeez, oh, if I went all the way, we probably scored there, but I didn't think he was going to make it, and then Aberdeen player fucking slide tackled. Claire, see him on the run. Go, run, run. Surely, surely this is an equaliser. Oh, my God. Why is the belly doing that? No. Oh. Some drama. We're about to lose. Aberdeen have a chance. They're playing it in the corner. No, they've won the game. They've won the Scottish Cup. We've been beaten. I was trying to bring it to Scuffy, get the ball, and Aberdeen have won the Scottish Cup. Hey, fucking hate my life. <laughs> gonna go out. We fucked it. We fucked it. Even in real life, we can't win all the domestic trophies. It's always typical of us to throw something away like this. And the underdogs have beaten us fair and square. 3 1 Aberdeen. Oh, God, how did this happen? We went up 1 0. And fair enough. Aberdeen have beaten us. I'm, I'm not going to watch the celebrations. So that does it, guys, for season one of the Celtic career mode. Um, we, we fucked it the last hub up. Should have won the Scottish Cup, but beating in the final, fair and square. Not much to complain about. It was going to go over stuff, but uh, my spirit's kind of been wrecked. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this season of Celtic Career. Remember, vote if you want me to stay in the Scottish Premiership and move down to the English Premier League. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed the first season. And I'll see you guys in season two. I'm trying to plan an ultimate team series to try and start. We'll give the Celtic Career a break for a couple of days and uh, then we'll bring it back. I'm trying to come up with an ultimate team series to start in the meantime. But guys, until then, this has been Ryan I'll see you all later.